Hello, I'm Rosie Moorhead and this is your Orange Media Network News Blast. Last Thursday night, students, staff, and members of the community held a town hall meeting in the club level of Reeser Stadium. The meeting was to discuss the issues of underage and high-risk drinking on college campuses. The meeting included panels, fenced-in community data charts, alcohol EDU data, and a Q&A with the crowd. This meeting was just a first for town halls to address drinking on college campuses. As the fall term is ending, class registration is beginning for the upcoming winter term. With the My Scheduler system in full effect this year, the system creates a multiple variety of schedules for students. The end of the fall term is on December 9th. The Oregon State Beavers failed to produce memorable offense as they lost a critical game against Stanford on Saturday, 26-15. Entering this game, the Beavers needed a win in order to maintain bowl game eligibility. With a loss today, the Beavers will now be out of contention heading into the last three regular season games. The Cardinal finished with a total of 365 rushing yards on 58 attempts, compared to the Beavers failing to eclipse the 150-yard mark in both rushing and passing. Coming into this game, the Beavers were at 16.5 point underdog against the Cardinal. They finished the game losing by 11. This means that Oregon State is now 7-2 in terms of beating the spread so far this season. The men's hoop was back in action in an exhibition game last Friday against the Corbin University. The Beavers dominated the NAIA opponent 96-58. Seven Oregon State players scored in double figures, including 17 from freshman guard Ja'Cory McLaughlin and 15 from sophomore forward Trace Tinkle. The Beavers continued their defense proudness from last season and held the visiting Warriors to only 32% shooting from the field. Oregon State season officially tips off later this week against Prairie View A&M at Gill Coliseum. For complete stories from today's news blast, visit our website, orangemedianetwork.com, follow us on Twitter, and like us on Facebook. From all of us here at Orange Media Network, I'm Rosie Moorhead. Thank you for watching.